The word desert is derived from the word desertair, which means abandoned. Deserts are of two types, hot deserts such as Sahara in Africa and Thar in India. Cold deserts such as Ladakh and Antarctica. It is therefore difficult to have a uniform definition of desert. On the basis of climate as well as vegetation, a desert is an area in which the annual potential evapotranspiration is generally in excess of the annual rainfall, where the development of biota is over a substantial part of the year largely limited by the availability of water and where vegetation is sparse. Desert habitat is scorched when scoured, waterless, endless and with wide gaps without shelter and still plants. Animal and human population continues to thrive in spite of hostility. In view of increasing population, deserts are expected to be man's future land banks. Location In the world, deserts are located in two discontinuous belts, one in the northern and the other in the southern hemisphere, roughly centered along the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn between 15 degrees and 35 degrees latitudes with their greatest extension being towards the poles on each side. It is interesting to note that deserts occupy almost 17 percent of the total land area of the world. Areas with less than 25 centimeter rainfall per year are called hot deserts while those covered with snow are called cold deserts or tundra. Hot deserts are further classified as dry and semi-arid deserts while cold deserts are classified as arctic tundra and alpine tundra. Desert regions of northern hemisphere Some of the important desert regions of the northern hemisphere are North American Desert. This includes Western Colorado and Arizona. Main plants of this region are yucca and carnegia. Sahara Desert. It is the largest desert on the earth located in Africa. It is spread over an area of 48 million km to 5.6 million km covering almost entire northern Africa. There are mountains and sandy areas. Ephemeral herbs like argimon and salinum are commonly found. Iranian Desert It includes some areas of Iran, Afghanistan and Balochistan. The winters are cold and the summers are hot. Artemisia Herba alba is the common herb. Arabian Desert This includes Jordan, Iraq, Israel and Syria. Sand dunes are observed near the coastal areas. Common plant is Zygophyllum damosum. Turkestan Desert It is located in Russia. It has very harsh climate where the temperature in summers goes as high as 46 degrees Celsius and in winters it may drop to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Poa bulbosa and Aristida are the common grasses. Thar Desert It is located in Rajasthan, India and popularly known as Indian Desert. Sand dunes are the common feature. Common plants are Halozylon, Ephorbia caducifolia and Aristida. Tatla Makan Desert Located in Central Asia in the territory of Tibet, halophytic vegetation occurs in all valleys. Gobi Desert This is also located in Central Asia. Mountains and sand dunes are the common features. Desert Regions of Southern Hemisphere Some of the main deserts of Southern Hemisphere are Australian Desert About half of the Australian continent is arid, having desert conditions. 
Some deserts are sandy and some are stony. The most common plant is the grass known as spinifex and small trees and shrubs like acacia. Kalahari Namib Desert It extends from Angola to St Helena Bay in South Africa. Average rainfall is less than 5 cm per year but it remains covered with sea fog and dew. The vegetation includes leafless plants and succulents. Patagonian Desert It is spread between Argentina and the eastern base of Andes. It experiences low rainfall from 15 to 30 cm per year. The vegetation is dominated by xerophytic grasses and low cushion type shrubs. Atacama Peruvian Desert It is located between Chile and Peru. The annual rainfall is less than 1 cm. It is the driest coastal desert of the world. The common plant is Tillandsia. A few lichen are also observed. Deserts in Indian Subcontinent Apart from the Thar Desert of Rajasthan, the Indian subcontinent has arid and semi-arid regions in the states of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab and the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Structure of Dry Desert Ecosystem The chief controlling climatic factor for the formation of deserts is low rainfall. The rainfall is less than 25 centimeters per year and even that is not uniform. The daytime temperatures are very high and the nights are extremely cold. Only 10 percent of the land area is covered with plants, shrubs, herbs and trees. Just like the other ecosystems, the desert ecosystem also has three components, producers, consumers and decomposers. The producers. The producers of dry desert ecosystem are green plants popularly designated as xerophytes. The xerophytes are of four types, drought escaping or ephemerals. They are a very short life span of four to six weeks. Their seeds germinate during the rains, produce roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds within one to two months and disappear before the onset of the dry conditions. For example, Sela. Drought evading. These plants are very small in size. They have a restricted growth and require very low amount of water for their growth and development. In view of their small size, they conserve whatever little moisture they get and thus avoid droughts. Their lifespan is four to six months or hardly one year. For example, Argimon and Solanum. Drought enduring. These are slow growing shrubs or small trees. They grow extremely restricted and their leaves are reduced to leaflets. For example, Acacia nilotica and Acacia leucophilia. Capris deciduous is a leafless shrub. Australian Acacia shows petiole modified to phyllode. Those plants which bear leaves become leafless during dry weather. They resume growth when the water is again available to their roots during the rainfall. Thus, they endure droughts by some adaptations to overcome unfavorable seasons. Drought resisting. They are succulent plants with thick and fleshy stems and leaves. They are actually hoarders with plenty of water during rainy season in their stems which becomes modified to phyloclade. Example, Opuntia and Cactus. In Bryophyllum, Aloe and Agave, the leaves are fleshy. The Consumers 
The consumers are different categories such as the primary, secondary and tertiary consumers. The primary consumers or herbivores are camels, sheep and wild ass. Secondary consumers are toads, frogs, desert cats, desert fox and the birds like great Indian bustard, florican and quail. Tertiary consumers are lizard, snake, wolf etc. Structure of cold desert ecosystem or tundra ecosystem. Tundra means marshy plains. Tundra occurs on soil that is disturbed by periodic freezing and thawing of water. The soil is almost permanently frozen up to 10 to 20 centimeters deep below the surface. The surface of the soil is spongy and uneven. In some tundra regions of the Arctic, the permanently frozen soil is called prima frost a short distance below the surface of the ground. Tundra are spread over 5 million acre land in North America, North Canada, Alaska, North Eurasia and Arctic islands. Tundra is characterized by low annual rainfall about 25 mm and low temperature minus 50 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. The growing season is hardly up to 60 days. Tundra vegetation is in the form of treeless community. The producers are lichen like cladonia, popularly known as reindeer moss, mosses, grasses, dwarf betula and salix. The cause of dwarfism is the snowstorms which appear throughout the year. Primary consumers or herbivores are reindeer, yak, polar deer, musk deer and antelope. Penguin, the flightless bird, is the common herbivore. Secondary consumers are carnivores like polar bear and polar wolf. All animals are covered with thick fur for protection from snow. Decomposers are fungi and bacteria. Uses of desert ecosystem Areas of scarce vegetation with semi-arid scrubland are used for browsing by camel and grazing by coat and sheep in Gujarat and Rajasthan. Areas with little moisture are used for growing crops like sorghum or jawar and pearl millet bajra. The natural grasses and local variety of crops adapted to low moisture conditions can be used for genetic engineering and dry farming. Threats to desert ecosystem Human activities are destroying the authenticity of the desert ecosystem. The nuclear test in Pokhran has disturbed the consumers and producers of this area. Some desert areas have been brought under cultivation by expansion of the irrigation system. Now the canal water evaporates rapidly and leaves behind salt which results in saline or oocer soil which is unproductive. On the other hand, to meet the growing requirement of drinking water, deep tube wells are dug which lowers the water table making the atmosphere even further drier. Due to all these activities, the special species which have developed here over millions of years is at risk of becoming extinct. How desert ecosystem can be conserved? Desert ecosystem is extremely sensitive. Their ecological balance that forms the habitat for their flora and fauna is very easily disturbed. Desert people have traditionally protected their meager water resources. The Bishnoi tribe of Rajasthan is known to have protected their Khejri trees that is Acacia leucofloia and the black buck antelope for several generations through the movement of hugging with tree trunks and even by sacrificing their lives. 
This movement has now been revived under the name of Chipko movement. In order to protect the desert ecology, the government should declare desert areas as national parks and sanctuaries where the felling and cutting of trees and the hunting of animals is prohibited. We need a sustainable form of development to protect our desert ecosystem.